Hello. Um, as you can see in the background, I'm still somewhat stuck in World Cup season. I like, augmented by a few shirts that were not at the World Cup, but club season is upon us, and I thought this might be a great opportunity to look at many club shirts at once. And one of the first leagues that is starting is actually the Premier League. And with 20 teams and lots of shirts to look at, I thought let's make it in four parts. Also fitting, I have four Premier League jerseys, but of a certain vintage, meaning um, 99, 2000, 2001. And I'm going to do it alphabetically, which means we have Arsenal in the first one. This is actually of the shirts that I have. My favorite to wear currently, um, but there, are, as you will see, the others. And this is not that I am a particular fan of any of these teams. It was just the times at the time I was visiting London, and I tried to get as many shirts from the London teams as possible. It was not possible for all the shirts, and you know, money is also always an issue, especially in an expensive city like London. Well, so we have five teams in the first part: Arsenal, Bournemouth, Brighton. Burnley and Cardiff. I'm just gonna run through the shirts and give you my opinion on those shirts and maybe even uh, rate them and gonna have fun with that one. I'm gonna continue with the other ones uh, in future series. So let's get right to it. The first one is of course Arsenal and we're looking at the Arsenal home shirt by Puma which actually has the evil knit pattern. And if I look at it, it just looks strange. Um, we know Arsenal has the red base and the white sleeves, but now it goes all over the shoulders, but not like on this shirt. It really, the top is all white. I honestly don't like it. And then you have this um, light red, almost pinkish uh, band around the sleeves. It looks strange to me. I also was never a big fan of the new Arsenal logo. I know it is slicker, but this one was so much nicer. I know they had copyright issues with it. And then to top it off, there's this weird, yeah, Puma puts the evil knit pattern. There's this weird, it almost looks like a Slovenia jersey. Um, definitely not one of my favorites, I can tell you right now. If I look on the back, I mean, the back looks a tad bit better. It's like a little bit like the old Nike jerseys. Of course, the Premier League font, uh, you will see them in here it for Özil. Um, yeah, I also like the old ones much better, but you know, I think it's a decent font. The, I gotta give it to the Premier League, they always had a decent font. But overall, this jersey, I... Nah, that's at best a three-star jersey, at least they got the color scheme right. Uh, it's not horrible, horrible, but I think it's a three-star. Also note how there's the... Navy around the crest, and this is not featured anywhere in the jersey. That's for me an omi omission. Uh, maybe if they would have done it, the sleeve bands in Navy, that could have worked. I think. Well, speaking of Navy, the away shirt is Navy with some very dark red accents, almost similar to what's on the home uh, shirt, except it's now a double dip above the Fly of Fly Emirates. This one I actually like a lot better. Uh, it is simple and actually the pattern here looks nice. If I look on the back, it's similar on the back. So yeah, I think I can sign up for that one. I would give it possibly, yeah. I mean, you know that I like navy blue, meanwhile. Uh, it's not the perfect jersey, but I think, uh, especially considering Arsenal, where I would like to see a yellow one. So that drops it down in my, but I would still give it, uh, I think, seven stars. And then, of course, there's a third jersey, <laughs> and this color is horrible. I don't like this one at all. Also, monochromatic crest, that's already a no-go for me. That looks boring as can be. I think it's even worse than the home jersey. Uh, the color is okay, but it's like this rugby style color. Uh, then you have the two navy stripes, that could have been used on the home I think this is a missed opportunity. Back to the drawing board with this and I give it two stars. Well, that's the big shot in the first five. Let's look at the slightly smaller teams here. And the first, we're gonna go to Bournemouth. Uh, that big red and black stripes. So I usually like that a lot already. I mean, I'm a Milan fan. So yeah, uh, that jersey looks nice. 
Of course, as a Milan fan, I always like it when the black stripe is in the center. Here is the red stripe. Uh, I really like the umbra on the sleeves. I don't like the stomp. It's just a little bit too much for me. And also the crest. Yes, they try to do something normal, but again, there's this uh, tango ball in there. This always gets me negative. Uh, this could have done better, I think. Uh, the crest drops it down. And, and I know Bournemouth is not this classic Premier League team, but um, if with such a crest, you're just, it seems like you're not even trying to look classy, that you belong. Uh, that drops it down for me. The gold is also, you know, I always feel gold should be used only if you have a team that has won something and sorry, Bournemouth hasn't won much, maybe they have won promotion. The nice thing about this one I have to say is that the sponsor, although it's a little bit clunky, the color scheme fits nicely with the shirt. And this is a rarity these days. So that one I give it a uh, big props for. That's something I like a lot. Um, yeah, I think overall, I even like the dark sleeves and I also like that it's, uh, on the back it's red, red and black. Um, I think I'm gonna go seven stars here. There's more to like than to dislike. I dislike the crest, I, I dislike the clanky sponsor, but other than that, this is a really nice shirt. Really like that one. Uh, so, yeah, I honestly have never seen Bournemouth play, in, at least to my knowledge, but that's a really nice shirt. I might want to look out for them. Um, the away jersey, yeah, is a little bit more um, boring, but also they also have this shadow striping in there that actually works quite well. It's uh, otherwise plain white. And instead of the Umbra logos, uh, that have a nicely, it's just, uh, again, the sponsor fits very nicely in the color scheme. Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty darn good job. I don't like the monochromatic crests and maybe the um, stripes, yeah. I overall like it. I think I would give this six stars. And let me bump up the other one for eight. I think six and eight stars, that's what I want to go here. Uh, also very simple back, yes. I think that should be six and eight stars. Um, okay, I'm very comfortable doing that. Now let's go to Brighton. Um, Brighton and Hove Albion. I like that name a lot, uh, the seagull, uh, the seagull in the crest. Um, yeah, Nike jerseys. The home jersey I think looks okay. What I don't like about the home jersey is the back. That uh, you know, it keeps the white shield for the numbers, which I think is okay. And given the white shoulder yoke on the front, it makes some sense. But I think the red band on the back. It becomes a little bit too dominant. I mean, if you have um, probably a blue number on there, it doesn't look as bad. And I'm actually happy that the stripes continue below the number. I mean, this is how Croatia should have done it for their away jersey. So at least save this a little bit from being uh, completely off. Uh, so the home jersey I like. It's nothing really extraordinary. And of course, I don't like that the sponsor breaks up kind of the center stripe but how can you do it also uh, just get the sponsor in the same color as the stripes also the crest in the same color as the stripes i mean there's a little bit uh blue is off it's not a spectacular jersey so pretty pretty much middle of the park five stars i would give the v jersey in green i don't know you know i don't know brighton too well but green seems like an odd color choice to me uh either blue or an all white Rather blue, I would say, it would make a little bit more sense to me, if I'm honest. I mean, it's not hor horrible, but it's, yeah, it's also the old Nike style. It has the buttoned collar opening, and it has some weird pattern within the shirt. Nothing spectacular. I would also give it five stars. Uh, the kit, I think the home kit overall is nice. There are just some quirks in there that bump it down for me a little. The away kit, yeah. Uh, let, let me know if you're a Brighton fan, what you think about the choice of green. Then we come to uh, what I call typically unusual English color scheme in Burnley. Uh, this is similar to Aston Villa, very similar to West Ham. Uh, a color scheme that I actually love in English football. I gotta totally give it to them. The claret and the uh, baby blue, it somehow fits. It's not the prettiest of color combinations, but I all, overall I like it. Um, and again here it has the same problem like the Bournemouth that the sponsor is too clunky but at least it fits in the color scheme. 
Yes, there is white on there, which is not nowhere else featured in a jersey, but the pants are white. So that makes it uh, a little bit more bearable. I like the crest. The crest looks all style. So even if Burnley is not a classic Premier League team, this looks fine. And also the overall uh, Puma here, uh, the template, I think it looks cool. You have the blue shoulders uh, with the blue collar nicely connecting. You have the sleeve cuffs in also clarity and the whole base. And yeah, there's this V pad on that I think I could do without. Uh, and clunky sponsor. But I think this is a pretty strong effort. Uh, I want to go 8 here. I really like this one. Um, if I look at the away jersey, I thought I don't think I have the away jersey here. No, I don't have the away jersey, but I have the third kit, which yeah, is the same, just in gray, and I don't like it all. That's a three star. Sorry. If I get the away jersey sometime soon, I will of course post. Maybe let's have a I have a quick look on the internet. No, there's nothing here on the away jersey. So uh, that I will post probably later. And then we're already at the last one for this first installment, which is Cardiff, um, which is an Adidas and pretty straightforward, I would say. Uh, blue, 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 blue as can blue can get with some uh, horizontal Striping, yeah, visit Malaysia. Yes, the two line sponsor. I like it one line and I know we have Fly Emirates in two lines. But the fly is a little bit smaller. Um, yeah. Nothing exciting, but also no, nothing bad. Uh, I like the um, horizontal striping. We have the um, three shoulder stripes. The color is the same. It's very similar to the Sweden jersey in that it's kind of cut here. But yeah, this is, I think, a six star. And uh, <laughs> the away jersey is like the Belgium jersey. The Belgium away jersey just in white and blue. It looks all right, I, I would say. Do you like it better than the home? Probably not. It's probably much. It's pretty, pretty much the same. The one thing, the Belgian jersey was because of the colors was nice. Uh, same thing for Sweden. There was just something. It's a little bit missing it because it's this grayish here. So I actually want to go five here. Um, I like the home much better. Well, that's my first review. For Premier League kits, let me know what you think about these kits. Um, if you completely disagree with me, very likely. That's just my personal opinion. And yeah, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will talk to you soon with part two. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.